Hi everyone, my name is Noelle and welcome back to my art channel. I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, I, was let, I was giving myself a good amount of time to let my hand heal um, from repetitive strain injury from doing too much artwork. So it was much needed and um, I'm just so excited for this new year and a new beginning. So I thought I would make a video and share um, what I'm up to in the studio. So today I'm gonna be showing uh, putting up lights over the paintings in my living room. So I have this display wall that I periodically change. I just, whatever my newest paintings or I just kind of, it changes a lot. But what I have noticed is that the lighting isn't adequate and I really wanna be able to enjoy all those colors and details that I've poured into each painting. So what better way than illuminating it? Um, so I have all the parts and everything purchased, so I just wanted to share like how I'm gonna go about it because um, I, it is gonna be a little bit of a project. So first off, I'm gonna show you the lights I purchased. Okay, ta-da! <laughs> it looks kind of unassuming because it's a tangled mess right now, but these are the lights I got and hold your judgments. Let me plug it in. Okay. To simplify what the situation a little bit more, there's this main port. So let me just plug in one to show you. Oh no. Okay. Here we go. This is just one of them. And it's a tiny little, um, you know, a little display light that can uh, be screwed on or, or, um, or sticky, sticky pasted on, and it has the each of them. There's eight of them. Each of them has, oh, like they can move. You can like pivot them, and they also can change the brightness. So there's like three settings of brightnesses. I got this on Amazon for I think it was forty seven dollars. Might have been a, a little bit on sale. Yeah, and then I also had to buy an extension cord, a new. Uh, male, female, USB, uh, 10 foot long extension cord. So yeah, I bought this extension cord. It's white. I just thought it would look, you know, my walls are white. So, and then these very, very long wood pieces. They're 12 foot long because I'm going to be making a track line along the top of the, the ceiling. So my goal is to um put them like so my goal is to put them stacked and then they're going to be on the ceiling with a spot that can hide all the cords in the back um and then i purchased these um i purchased these screws different sizes um for shorter ones i can screw the wood pieces together and then like eight or so longer ones that i could screw this whole a piece of wood. Oh, kitty wants to say hi. <laughs> this whole, like, this whole system to the ceiling. So, yeah, so I picked up those. All of these wood pieces were, let's see, and the screws were like $23 from Home Depot. And then also that extension cord I showed you was like $10. So we're looking at, let's just round up a little bit. So like, 50, 60, 70, 80, yeah, about 80, 85 for all of the supplies. Um, I'm also going to be painting these wood pieces and giving them all aesthetic. And I wanted to show you one of my pride and joys that I've put together in this house is right up here, my, our uh, evaporated cooler vent. So we had an issue with like, pollution coming into the house because there was no filter on it so I was very proud of putting together that venting system or the the vent outlet that has a spot to put a filter on it and one of the things I did was I put like I made that wood frame around where the vent is because the sizing was wrong and the pieces of wood um were very similar to these pieces I bought here and I had painted them and stuff. And then I also filled in the crevices with caulking. And 
yeah, so it's gonna look really nice. I'm so excited and I wanted to start this video before it's even tomorrow because it's still it's like dark out and stuff. Don't mind me because I want to, um, what am I gonna do? I wanna screw these pieces together for starters. Um, I'm not gonna bother sanding them because I didn't sand that swamp coal or stitch them up there and I think it looks just fine because it's just like, you know, higher up and not super noticeable. So I'm gonna first screw them together. <sighs> okay, so when I'm handling these wood planks, I have to be so careful. Fun uh, fun story, when I was a kid, oh look, Ellie, she's, she's stressed because I'm moving away. So when I was a kid, I ran through the house with a, a stick, like a very long stick, and I actually broke a china hutch. Oh, that was loud. I broke a china hutch. So I'm very familiar with like, not like being in being in the house with sticks when it's not a good idea <sighs> okay now we will screw these pieces together so I'm kind of just like on the living room floor I know it's not the best like work um you know woodworking shop or anything but I think it will do so I mentioned not wanting to sand the pieces. Um, I just wanted to show you there is like a smoother side and then there's like a rougher side. So obviously I'm gonna try to like use that to my advantage and showcase the smoother side. So here's the size that I'm gonna be used for using for screwing these pieces together. It's an eight to eight, number eight, two inch. And this wood is really soft, so it's gonna be nice and easy to screw in. Um, it's gonna be like, that deep into the other piece, but not too far to where it's like gonna, you know, pop through or something. <laughs> this one other one in and it totally stripped the screw jar the screw stripped thankfully I have one extra but I'm gonna try to get it out with pliers because I don't really know exactly how else to get it out um well that's fun Ooh, I hate that <laughs> okay, let me try to get it out Another bit the dust. Um, I have a screw that's only, it's like that much left on it to go in. <sighs> Maybe I should try to hammer it in? I don't know. I need my husband. <laughs> oh, that's exhausting. <laughs> so here we have the evidence of the second one I messed up. All I can figure is that there's some sort of knot, it, um, some sort of resistance in the wood that is making it <sighs> do that. So um, maybe Nails would be better. Maybe I could actually get a nail. I don't know if I have any nails like this size or not, but um, yeah, it's cause it's not, it's resisting pretty hard. It's good, um, good warning. Cause what if this is happening on the ceiling? So it's good that it's happening here as practice. So I'm gonna see if I have a nail. If not, I might just try a different section of the wood and have it not be perfectly like placed each nail. of putting these two pieces together I just decided to call it a night because I was exhausted but it's a new day and I'm gonna continue on with the project I now have the um, I'm blanking on what these are called <laughs> pieces of wood um, leaning against like this wall because it's so long and I'm gonna be painting it white <sighs> yeah <laughs> let this layer dry and I'm gonna do a second layer on it but now I'm gonna do a before picture of the wall um, before putting the lights up mm -hmm. 
So the next step here, I took off the art from the wall and put it over here so that it's safe from the installation of these lights. And um, yeah, my husband's over there fixing the caulk gun um, or the tube because it was clogged. Um, and I'm just gonna fill in this crevice right here. All right, so I um, untangled all of the little lights and um, I have the wood, wood pole uh, repainted after putting the caulking on in this crack here. And I have the extension cords. Um, how this works is all of them plug in right here. And then there's like the dimmer switch. And this is the extension cord and it's going to be plugging into my husband's computer right here. Going up the wall. And um, so next I'm going to actually place the lights and screw them on and also tuck all the wires in the back and so when it comes time to actually screwing this onto the ceiling it's going to be really simple and smooth. Also I wanted to officially show you the plan on my um, that I drafted up here on my iPad. Um, so this is the shape of the light fixture uh, not including um, not including this uh, 10 foot extension that I uh, purchased on its own. It's not true proportion, um, but this is generally, so I just needed more length to get the, the farthest light um, way over here. So I'm going to measure out the pole and see the placement, exact placement of each light uh, and get it all situated for installation. Hey, so hopefully you can see my face in this video. Um, so I it was a math puzzle trying to find the placement um, evenly spaced on this bar. Um, and I couldn't figure it out, so I recruited my husband. He's actually helped me so much in this project. Um, and it, yeah, I can't really explain it. So if you're doing this at home, I'd recommend getting a math major like my husband who figured it out. Um, it seems simple, but it's actually kind of complicated. So um, we figured it out for my situation. Um, this piece of wood is 12 feet long and each one um, is spaced 16 inches apart. Um, so that's kind of what we, we concluded and um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. So just thought I would fill you guys in with that. So after placing all of the little lights um, and screwing them in, I stapled on the back um, just right around to where they'll be looping to the back where it hides. And I'm just um, taping them down. And then I'm gonna have to deal with as the cords get more and more abundant by the end. So that's what I'm doing now. few things. I actually went ahead and loosened these um, staples so that there's no pressure on the wires and I taped it down but my husband's checking with his dad who's a construction um, co contractor so he's gonna double check if this tape is appropriate for the use. Um, I might need to switch it out with duct tape but I don't have, have any so I'm gonna have to go to the store but it's coming along so nicely. All of this is gonna be hidden. It's just gonna be beautiful like that. And um, yeah, and then over here, I have it situated to where this is the dimming light and I could just reach up and dim it with that button. So yeah, it should be good. So I decided to get some white duct tape and um, 
that replaced the tape that I had on it. This because it's um, safer for wires. Yeah, that's what I have. It's finally time to put up the lights and I have my willing husband here to help me. And uh, he's gonna do the actual screen because we all know that uh, I failed at that last time. So I might as well um, quit that. So um, yeah, I, yes, we're gonna put it up finally. Of course, it's not gonna be hot when we do it as in it's not plugged into the power source. I have a little spots where it's gonna be um, screwed into. I'm gonna do six uh, two and a half inch long um, size eight screws um, on a bolt. I measured out, it's about 14 inches from the wall. And um, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so uh, change of plan. My husband is gonna pre-screw them or pre-set them, he called it. I'm gonna put the screws in the wood first. Yeah, so yeah. it's not all of that working from upside down with very little um, ability fully. Yeah. Anyway, so. Yeah, just having to put the, the screws in the wood whilst holding it up there, that would be yes. it's, it's not very, it's, it's kind of difficult. <laughs> Oh, do you just twist See or? That? Oh, there's a little switch there's on the a, back. Is it like a dimmer switch? It's gonna look brighter. And duller. Nice. Okay. Alrighty. Yay. I see it. I see, see the it? vision. Yeah. I see the vision. Yay. Yeah. It's gonna be so nice. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna call for the edges and then mm -hmm. um, paint the nails or the screws and then put the art up although I like really really want to see how the art looks maybe I'll just put like one or two this one I think goes right here on uh, but yeah whatever you want to do okay what do options. you think chip chip what do you think yeah. Okay, I'm finished with that and I'm going to start putting my art up. Um, so yeah. beside myself with how good they all look. Uh, I just feel like these lights bring out aspects of the painting that I've always enjoyed, but I feel like when people see it in person, they can't always enjoy it because the lighting isn't right. But now, it's just so pretty. So, so pretty. Like even with this one, like this one has kind of an older piece and 
with the lighting, you can actually see the details I did with um, different mediums. And it just the finishing, it just looks so good. So, so happy. Um, this was definitely a fantastic addition. <laughs> Thanks. Actually, like, you can see the colors. Yeah. And these lights are kind of cool toned, I feel. Like they're not super warm toned, but it like works with my art because my art's kind of like interstellar, um, you know, that fantasy surrealism type yeah. of. And it kind of goes with like outer space versus like warmer tones, you think like earth and the sun and sunset and stuff, which, you know, but what I do is more like dreamy and mystical, so it's really good. Alright guys, I think this is a good point to stop my video, and so you say just thank you so much for watching, this has been such a fun journey to have you along while putting these lights up. Um, overall, I'm pretty content with them. Um, I would say they are a tiny bit duller and cooler tone than I would have preferred, but I think it's a fantastic starting point. So if you're wanting to do a DIY uh, lighting for your artwork, um, I definitely recommend. Um, thank you again and be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and um, I'd love, love to have you along on the journey if you want to continue to follow along. So 